as number two in Denmark if they're able to do it with a standing. That's even better. But Hugo, we're going to have to wait and see. This pistol round about to begin, and it's Train, the map pick of Heroic. They're starting over on the T side to begin this one. Now it's going to set up over here with three players at the A side, but two of them in Pop Dog. They're going to be available for a very, very fast rotation if this B play does indeed come in. By the looks of things, it seems like it will. Nico is coming in on that light, late Ivy Lurk, or Stown rather, actually, with a P250. Bit of a raid boss in play. Heroic waiting to execute. But of course, if things are silent on train, you're, you're going to see standard CTs rotate to inner uh, to, to watch for the execute. And that's exactly what's going on right now. North know nothing. And so they're going to gamble on that inside site. A grenade is ready for MSL to pop on the uh, the ramp, rather. But Stown is the key of this round right now. And Cage is watching from a passive position. If Stown jumps across or goes fast, he can get past this USP and get into the back line. That's the hope here for Heroic. But as Stown gets so deep, Heroic are going to consider other options. They go back towards a pop dog looking to crowd this out of sight but it's a double setup here for north if heroic drop this could be problematic they fake flash in christo drops testes finding that kill but az doubles up with the usp before he is eventually overwhelmed cajun now looking away from ivy is giving away for stown into the site and he drops gay coming from connector excellent execute from heroic they have north looking exactly where they want and now msl is coming in for the pop dog on his own Yeah, lots to do here. They know exactly where he is. MSL trapped in pop. Kadian and Borup and Stown all looking in his direction from inside of this bomb site. This is a very tricky Ooh. round and MSL gets taken down. I love any game that features Kadian versus MSL. I'm a big fan of that, right? When you think about the kind of history between yeah. these two guys and the effect that they've had on one another's careers and on the teams and the orgs that they play for right? yeah like obviously a lot of overlap there especially in the north side of things and I, I think that's you know certainly what's so exciting this north project but but you know underwhelming for many and and i think winning this bo3 would really solidify something for north but that's going to be easier said than done with heroics as a favorite right now they've been looking very very good here although i say that i say heroic have been looking very very good they're all two of the group harry the bottom of the group it's just the way that their games have gone right like an overtime in a 30 round versus astralis and a loss to g2 in the third map in an overtime in a game they they had in a game i mean if you missed it oh maybe keep it that way maybe you don't want to relive the madness that was the three on zero for heroic last night but we'll move past it because heroic a new day uh, a new dane and nico he's boosted above the smoke on ivy catches a player on the a site there's still christo here but he's only good for one with a deagle mp9 about as good as done and heroic will trade their way to a second round on a Well, it's just the pistols now, Hugo, for uh, for North. So this is really where Heroic are going to look to go 3-0. and They should be able to keep this round pretty clean. There's a little flashbang on Gade. What's he going to try and do with it? He's waiting in the connector, holding yeah. on to that flash to pop into the A-bomb site, maybe to give these pistols a bit of room to work with. However, that bomb doesn't look like it's coming their way. Stown is, though, and he could be a bit of a vulnerability here all the way up through Ivy alone. What's a lone T player doing on this side of town all alone? This is not where he wants to be. North here, they're going to land the initial dink. And that there is Stout now looking like a real tantalizing little dish if you're north. Tessas and co, they've already secured the B site. So a plant should come in here, absolutely no problem. With it, the round should be pretty much guaranteed. It's just about how expensive now can north make this. Yeah, Stan's actually playing it extremely safe. Even, you know, you could say too safe, but there's no such thing as too safe in this case because it's an anti-eco that Heroic will win. They've already planted. Stan is saving in the spawn, and he's going to get a kill if he does this. MSL comes his way. Tess says, just missing the timing on the ladder. We'll get dinked from behind. Cajun dropping one of these MAC-10s, but there are many more Heroic players lurking around, even coming down Ivy. Down to the spawn, double kill presented, and he takes one and a half. Cadian picks up that player on Ivy, and Stan will close the round. Heroic four, uh, four alive, three on the board, and the bonus round goes successfully. So, or well, anti-eco at least, now, it's, now is the bonus round as North decide to buy up with the AWP on MSL. 
Heroic, they are going to keep this SMG. They are going to keep on a bonus round, and we could see a faster approach as a result. Well, Tester's going to try and come in with an early peek out from main, and he runs straight down into Olaf faster than Cajun B was ready for. So he's already out. He's already in this Olaf position, and he blindsides the man as a result. Christo removed. Cajun still looking down here with this secondary orb, but not able to find anything. Both of these orbs, by the way, at this A side of the map, both on Ivy side. AZ gets Molotov down in the Pop Dog, and that's him in for a world of hurt. He's able to stay alive thanks to his smoke grenade, but he is getting whittled down over here in Pop. Very, very low now is AZ, and that's him conceding the Pop Dog. He's going to back on out. In amongst all of this, Heroic, they've slowed it down. They pumped the brakes. They've gotten Stown into position deep here in Ivy. They forced the man out from Pop Dog. They've thrown some utility over towards the B bomb site, and that's prompted a rotation around from AZ. So that's actually going to leave this A site with just MSL and Cajun B on it. That's both of these orbs. The double orb setup left to hold on to A. Oh. And MSL edging his way out into Ivy wasn't ready for Stown close. I love the idea of having Stown just sit here and just wait all round with no hints that he's in Ivy. No one ever saw him. You know that you've removed the man at the A site, so a few areas are going to be, you know, a little less uh, less controlled by the north side. And they just wait for the kill to come to them. Now they sit in a five on three. This is already feeling like a save from north. Cajun's just trying to get out of here without dying. And yeah, this should be a fourth on the board for Heroic. They have very safe stuff there. And you can see that north want nothing to do with it. Cajun could have even, you know, stopped the bomb or taking kills on the site. But he realizes the best option is just to fall off because Heroic a five on three and, and silently flake, uh, flake plant, planting, fake planting at the A-bomb site. Just really making sure everything is covered and that North can't stop them. That is the case. And now a 4-0 lead on the T-side of train. Heroic feeling good. I I'd like to remind everyone as well, we've had this matchup before. Obviously not with this exa exact, you know, same 10 players. I, I think, you know, with the same 7 out of 10 players. Of course, with Yebi over Christo and, uh, and Heroic with Snappy and S-Tag. So S-Tag now in Astralis. Snappy potentially going to Mongolia. So an interesting one there, or maybe to China to play with uh, Tiger. We don't know, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I mean, when we had this matchup, Train was a part of that series, a series that Heroic won back at Leipzig, DreamHack Open, and Heroic 16-2 North on this very map. So keep that in mind. Heroic have had dominant victories on Train in the past, and that's something North need to be a little bit worried about, even though they are competitive on other maps. So this is not where North wanted to start. It's a map that they only have two games logged. But hopefully they can, uh, you know, use that loss positively. Try and pick up something from it. Try and learn from their mistakes and come back against Heroic today. But right now things aren't looking too pretty. Heroic with a bit of a B execute. They are going into two, though. This is a good setup for North. Gade and Christo inside of the site. It's down late lurking Ivy. He's throwing utility. He's come back to his team. And now here comes the B play. Yeah, AZ's gotten into a position though, and it looks like he's gonna try and head up pop quickly for this rotation. And so he might be able to come in fast and offer some kind of resistance, but there's already players holding it down. Christo is still alive in the site, but he actually falls almost immediately. And now oh. this wrap, this entire round pretty much falls into the hands of AZ. He is able to come in and deal with one, but Stown is wrapping the wrapper, and AZ actually able to readjust in time. So into a three on three, this was a round where initially it looked like North were considering the save, right? MSL and Cajun, they both backed away and now they're interested. AZ's made them consider this as a doable round. And he's still continuing this wrap in through the heavens. KD and putting up one. AZ in with the response, but he gets Ooh. traded. It's down to the 1v1 and actually AZ on for the ace. Barup up against him. And AZ gonna go ahead and drop a smoke, sticking the deep no fuse way. now. Barup has it. to come in with the peak oh. and he denies it with a second to spare. It's Barup with three. And a fifth round on the board for Heroic. Barup going full on Bames John here. It's 7-0.
I mean, AZ plays that to perfection, right? Not only, not only you know, all the all the kills on the site, but the way that he opens up the round, the way he gives away his presence, he's so patient. He could have killed Heroic multiple times as they ran back up and forth between the ramp, but he waits until he hears them leaving and then comes in with a backstab. Safe play for AZ. Puts North in, well, I was going to say on the board, in a position where they should have been on the board, but now they're broke because Borup did close that round in the post part. MSL might have it all. Uh, that is a big pickup as well. Nice shot from MSL. Follows up on the testers the pistols are out and about in the yard and they're providing value for north but it's all down to gade owen four yet to frag spots the first out onto the site but he's going to miss his opening shot and heroic won't give you a second chance six rounds flawless for heroic this is not the competition the north wanted to bring today and even though it is early days it's quite the one-sided affair six over heroic a double up for north maybe this will provide some results Man, this is already such a good start from Heroic, and you know this is a matchup that means a lot to them. And boy, they're giving it their all right now. AZ's had some great rounds, but still yet to see the rest of the squad kind of fall into place around him. And that's remaining to be our worry. In this Ooh. round, MSL and Gay, they'll both open up with a killer piece, and MSL actually continues that little reign of terror a little bit longer. So finally, North looking good to put their first round on the board as it falls to Stown and Cadian in this one. Two on five. And this is a pretty tall order. Stown holding, waiting for this aggression. And Christo holding close to Maid. Maybe he gives this one over. Maybe he gives something up here. Stown going to peek wide. And he does best Christo. So a two on four now. Still a very tricky round for Heroic to navigate especially when you look at how little utility they have to really make anything happen here. They're very split up. Cadian's over towards the B-bomb site. down over here in main. Neither player really budging all too much. Might just be a... Uh, either a late play in towards this A-bomb site, like a very late play, or this is going to be the save. And just sitting and waiting for now. Oh, Stown's going to get out. There's a Molly here to help him. I think they this really is a save, but they're this? like, they're, yeah, like, you can't like do you know, they're still trying Why? to go for it, but... <laughs> that's that's such a 6-0 round for Heroic, man. Look at how how safe Heroic have been playing on the C side. Think about every round they've won. It's been like grouping with four towards inner and down on the Ivy Lurk. And then Heroic, they feel out the round. They play a very slow approach. They go, okay, we either execute B with down lurking or we come back through Pop Dog and we hit A. That's how pretty much every round, one of these rounds have gone for Heroic on the rifles. And as soon as they get 6-0, they get overconfident and they start taking solo peaks without utility, without teammates. Uh, two players die up to the AWP. One more walks down the ramp and, and blink and you miss it. Heroic had given away three kills to north with no trades available they do try and trade the first kill but it's just too late and and they just dig themselves a deeper hole and, and that's you getting confident at 6-0 but you have to remember the level that you're playing at north aren't going to let you get away with these little mistakes you or these little plays you have to play as a team if you're heroic if you want to get these rounds as soon as you start to loosen up that's when north can certainly be given a way back into this matchup so heroic they need to keep playing like a unit and you can already see that they realize that too going back to the same default that got them here in the first place down on the ivy Luck, throw some utility. The rest of Heroic group up and up and B. They have lost a man early. Kadian tried to draw uh, uh, join down, and Nico gets dropped in the pop. That's certainly not what Heroic wanted. This one's a bit of a different one, but it is uh, to the same result, at least for North. Two kills early on, and no need to play aggressive. No need to risk giving away a trade back for Heroic. They're going to try and retake the pop dog. AZ is still here, though, and he has been a nuisance. Yeah, AZ is like the one guy you don't want to be facing anytime soon if you're heroic. Let's try and flash him out of pop, and they do at least get the trade. But it's another two on four for heroic. They didn't even attempt this last time around. This time they're at least grouped up. They are together, and there's a little bit more riding on it. There's a tag there onto MSL, and that's going to allow Tessas to pick up the trade. Wow. Oh, and he follows up. A second kill at the B site, and now maybe a doable round. Tessa is on for the ace, and he's going to need it if they want to get this one on the board. But a quick peek in from Cajun gives him no time. 
to set up for the post plant. Defuse comes on through. And so North chaining together two in a row. These double orbs seemingly always good for something in these rounds, right? This time it's going to be three kills provided on the back of them. Pop Dog certainly been a problem for Heroic in this game. One of the few problems they've really had in trying to not only take control, but but think about the round that AC flanked up it and got four kills. Didn't quite close it for North, but you know situations like that, things Heroic need to stay on top of. They've been putting a lot of pressure on Ivy. Did get denied for the first time in the last round with an orb shot going the way of MSL. So North have got answers. They've got results, and they've got you know a couple of rounds on the board. So things are looking good. Heroic. Last legs in terms of the economy, they got a bit of money left up in the hands of Cadian, but by and large, they are getting drawn to a close. Need to get back on this T side board if they want to continue these investments, or a bare minimum, a bomb plant. Probably fill the void. What do we got here from North End? Double AWP continues. Why would it not? It's been providing, uh, you know, a decent amount of success here for North, rather. Cadian taking his as well. It's going to go back towards Ivy, this time with Stown again, looking for this pick that didn't really get provided last round. He's going to have to drop off of B early, throwing a smoke down on the ramp. He is a solo inner player for a change. We've had a lot of double inners for North, but now they are stacked on that A site. Not for long, though. MSL's going to move this orb in tandem. AZ's pushed again below the pop, and he gets the same kill on the same player. Great work from AZ. Nico's removed from the round nice and early. The drop is good, though. And again, Tessa's trades. Heroic. Find a 4-4. Four four. This is a far better situation to be in now. Crystal going to try and fill the gap. But even then, you know, Heroic, they don't have to rush this one. They can take their time. Oh, Christo. Baited in for a peek, but no one gonna find anything. They at least know there's another man here in Pop Dog taking up the position of AZ. There's a bit of an exchange here between KD and MSL and Borum. But ultimately, it's gonna be kept in the advantage of North, and that's Ooh. thanks to Gade pushing the extremities outside of B. Stown has gotten deep in through Ivy, and this is a little bit deeper than I think North are prepared for. Cajun B is currently looking back Ivy side. I don't think he's going to consider a man of back green, wow. but as I say, Cajun flicking over does deal with Stown, leaving it all onto Cadian. Wrap round into CT from Gade. Yeah, that's just blindsides him. He's not ready for it, so. North, it took them a while. It took them six rounds before they found anything, but now seemingly finding everything on the back of it. They're three to six, grinding their way back into this game. They've finally broken the uh, the money of Heroic, or at least put them in like a bit of a weird spot. It wouldn't surprise me if we still had a, uh, a buy in this round from Heroic, but it's one that you could definitely stop and consider. They're going to go for it. It's only Tessez who's limited, but I imagine even then he can get himself something. And Cadian's even going to have the AWP in hand. So, yeah, it's a good buy. But it could be an actual good buy to the money here on Heroic if this round doesn't go their way. Yeah, they've called a pause, though, just to make sure they know what they're doing in this round. That's too used so far at this T side for Heroic. So what have they got in store? What have they got up their sleeve? The AWP, the Deeg, and rifles around it. Heroic send their sights towards B early on with a few players. Again, that solo in a play for North. Nothing's changed here. AZ, though, that is a change. He's dead, and the popped off Borup takes the spawn and fires a bullet right to the face of AZ. He does get smoked, but the flashbang follows up, and he could get a player on the site. He's got so much info. He spots all three A players and kills one of them as well. Now, the hounds have been unleashed. Hel Heroic are all over the site. They're looking to chase down these T uh, CTs, but MSL is still here, and Kicking, two kills, both headshots of the AWP. Ridiculous stuff. He even hit the wall bank collapse on that first player. Tess is going to try and move forward. He's got MSL pinned at the back. MSL doesn't know. And Gade, oh, his back's been spotted. That might bait Tess into his death here, but he swings and he succeeds. Two kills from Tess's. Cajun in the clutch, and he might just go for the save. He's still creeping forward. He still looks curious, but time is his enemy right now, as well as his enemies. He's got lots of them. Cajun, nice shot there onto Tessas. Ooh, Left in the 1v1 with Cadian, and surely there's just no time. He's going to drop a smoke yeah. on the bomb. Tries to bait Cadian in for a peek that he hopes might 
have him go down with the bomb, and it just doesn't happen that way. Kadian comes in from Ivy, takes down Cajun. The orb save is denied, and it's the seventh on the board for Heroic. Now, we were talking about this maybe being breaking point for Heroic, Hugo. But now it's North to find themselves in that spot. It's them with no money, and it was at a point in time where they could have broken that of Heroic. So this is a pretty horrific outcome for the North side. It went yeah. from looking so good to so bad in just one round. Luckily, they have a bit of money left, right? Cage team buys a rifle in this round. So, you know, North can buy in the next rifle round, but when will that be coming? Cajun is pushing, and he's already been cornered at Ivy. I don't think Stalin realized that the cross has come through, but now he's considering it. Solo is Cajun swinging on another peak, and Stalin's been tagged. He's going to have to smoke himself off. North are fine with that. It's a stalemate. They let him go. They will escape because they know Heroic are going to be hitting somewhere else fast. And that is the case. B has been unearthed by these T's. The bomb getting planted. North are so far away from having any say in this round. Christo has taken the gun off of Cajun, but with no armor, it might be wise to save. We'll see. Stown getting overwhelmed in spawn, looking everywhere but at his opponents. And the MAC-10 start to farm the armorless players. That's exactly what Heroic wanted in this round, and there might be more where that came from. Christo in the corner. Goodbye. Nico's got that, and a free gun dropped as well. Looking like an eighth round for Heroic's T side. MSL saving a gun, but that's all they get away with. And the armor on Cajun. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. It's okay, but it is still an eight round, eight round T side for Heroic. And that is, if you aren't aware, very, very good on the map of train. Heroic is going to be more than happy with this scoreline for him. That grenade should kill Cajun. And it will. Excellent work. That's just, that's insulting. One thing I will say that I absolutely love about North is that they're, uh, the kind of like insight they're willing to give us into yeah. their facility is great, man. They got cameras set up so we can see the players. Their interview zone looks sick. I do think that, you know, with everything kind of having to move online. It's been a great time for orgs to show exactly what they can bring to the table uh, to kind of spice things up for folks at home. It's been great. North have really answered the call there. So yeah. shout out those guys. Whoever's making the decisions, doing a pretty good job, I think it's fair to say. You're not wrong there, Harry. I always appreciate the interviews and the content we get for the players as well. Get a bit more insight. This one, though, it's a fast B play. Heroic don't realize Gade is in the sight, and he's here to stay. Two kills off of the spray. KD turns around in the smoke and does drop the pop flank. This time, Heroic expecting it. It's been a long time since he's in a hit, and Nico is in a powerful position. He's dropped MSL with it all, and he's ready for another. Nico on a double, eventually put down by Gade at the back of the site on his third. Low HP, though, relying on Christo on a late flank that Heroic are probably not prepared for. KD with a flick he was just throwing a smoke towards a connector and he won 80s for that kill leaving Cade alone in a clutch at this point Cadian is already out of the site he is already running a or faking it rather and Gade is here North uh, Heroic don't know it he's walking with his back turned into his enemies and he will get the kill but now Gade rotates out and Cadian committing back to B has to go A but that's exactly where Gade is, Gade is going this is such a mess this is such a mockery of a round Cadian will get the bomb plant in Gade on 10 where does he go Kade's gonna ace this if he wants to pick it up. And this is where Kadian being on the AWP maybe isn't ideal for Heroic. He's able to take a nice long angle, but Gade is dead in one shot to whatever. And that's why Kadian, using his little pea shooter over here in main, let's see what he's able to do with it. Gade needs the ace in what was a 1v2 now. If he wants to pick this round up, Molly down, and that's going to force Kadian back, but he actually gets up on top of the train, swings on out, fires off a shot. Gade now knows, but so much time is ticked off of this bomb. The Gade cannot win the round, no matter how hard he tries. Oh dear. Kadian's not going to find him running away, so Gade is going to live to fight another day. But it's still a round for Heroic, in spite of Gade's best effort. Yeah. Four kills in the round, and it's not enough. That's the second time we've had that for North, right? Like, the individuals just are, aren't, aren't enough, apparently. AZ gets four on B, he loses the one-on-one. -on -one. Gade gets four on B, he loses the one-on-one. -on -one. Like, you know, something that, uh, that was said on the desk coming into this game was the fact that, you know, if you have a stand-in like North do, you need everyone to be performing. You need all four of your old guard to be a, a tip-top shape, because... This is what happens if not. Christo is one in 10, and Heroic are just rolling over north with no issue. 
not the north like individually aren't even showing up right we're seeing these sick rounds but you know it, it that's the, the, that's the only positive signs right when a player goes and gets four kills and in both times that's happened north haven't closed the round we need everyone stepping up we need everyone having kills and impact into these uh rounds here from heroic and boy are they putting some on the board nine three on this t side with no signs of slowing down Yeah, this is the thing, right? For Heroic, these games where everyone's very, very tight within the scoreboard is very, very common. And I like that. You know, I think that's a yeah. good look from Heroic because it just shows that everyone's kind of putting an equal weight, uh, equal weighting, you know? It's, it, it, you can trust any player in kind of any situation is how it's feeling. And, you know, like you look at the kill distribution, well, it's plus two from the bottom to the top, whereas over on North, it's a difference of 10. So, yeah, you know, a real emphasis on individuals. I say 10, it's... it's now nine, thanks to Christo getting Whoa, your second kill in this round. Harry. Whoa, you're giving us misleading information, false facts. But, you know, I think Christo, it does make sense that he's going to be the, the the kind of bottom fragger yeah. within this squad. Obviously, having to uh, having to adjust, having to pick up some of the Kirby spots. And not to mention, I, I do think Train is probably one of the harder maps to just slot a man into. Especially on the CT side with all the moving parts, all the constant adjusting and, you know, are we playing for Ivy? Are we double pop? How many B? The need that you feel at times to take control, but the risk that comes with it. North not wanting to give away kills. MSL armorless and close towards main. He smoked off one side, but Molly's landed a sandwich and pushed him out into the open. Luckily, not punished for it. Heroic spam does just uh, elude MSL's position, and he can go back into it after the Molly is faded. Cajun, uh, Cajun kills down, coming through the Ivy smoke, and now a three on three here as North sit inside of A. Cajun moving very aggressively, and Tess is not ready for such a pushed up play. These close positions for North are providing kills and leaving Cadian alone in a clutch, a one on three with no time to do it. They're going to push him down as well. Cadian, oh, he's missed a shot. And with a jiggle, you can't afford to miss those. Otherwise, North are going to overwhelm you and get a free orb. Now there's two of them. And we know what these orbs have done for North. They actually put those initial three rounds on the board in this CT side. So finding a fourth, getting it done with some aggressive setups. That's a nice round for North. Heroic have finally broken. It's happened, Harry. They said it couldn't be done. Yeah, it really felt like it couldn't for uh, for the longest time, right? That very early 6-0 lead did some wonderful things to the Heroic Bank account, but finally we see them bottomed out, and it will just be pistols now into round number 14 with the goal of buying into the last of the half. That's pretty much locked in. Christo besting Tessas early on. And now the B plate for the rest of Heroic. AZ, he's about to do something a little bit gross, so let's keep our eye on him. That's the bomb drop there, so even as they get the sight, this is pretty heartbreaking for Heroic. If you ever wanted to watch some Danes just Ooh. looking very upset, this is the round, because you get into B, you get the kills, but you lose the bomb as you execute in, and all you were really hoping for in that round there was a bomb plant, so yeah, yeah not ideal. But a fifth on the board for North, they're starting to stumble back to their feet. And it does, you know, it does kind of feel like if they like 6-9 this half, I think that's still recoverable. I feel like T side, you know, you've got a bit more room. I think that, uh, you know, you, you can kind of better utilize someone like Christo moving into the T half, right? If needed, you can just have him on a lurk playing over on his own. I think that's maybe where he could be the most comfortable. Look at how much of a difference that $800 bomb money would have made for Heroic, right? We got players with no Yi 2 we got no Orp in the last round of the half, and MSL, he is looking to take these players away. He's done that in a big way. Two kills off of one shot. MSL posts back up and he just waits, because Heroic, this round's done. It's looking like a 6-9 end of half, and MSL will make it so he will put the nails in the coffin one by one. Just one left. It's Nico out towards B. Looking to come down the ramp. Gade is still here. Nico has his knife out. Luckily, Smoke will give away the fact that Gade is not left. And Nico hits the best timing possible. It's still not going to be enough to win this round, but he might be able to grab himself one kill with it. Even then, missing Gade as he falls back towards Khan. Nico sprays, does get the kill. But yeah, I mean, now the alarm bell has been rung. North can set up for this exact contingency, and they've got the bomb as well. So it's looking like six, Harry. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news.
Yeah, the bad news bear, uh, as I think they're knowing. And Finding six for North on the CT side. It doesn't feel like enough, but a pistol round could certainly solidify things as North looked to take it here with a lot of utility in this second half. Heroic, no kit for the retake. But they do have Borup on a smoke. He's dropped a CZ for Cadian. So a bit of a raid boss situation here for Heroic. And they're going to be bringing the heat towards B. Cadian loses his life. There's a quick trade from Nico in upper, and he is here to stay. Two kills, three from Nico, all headshots, and he can just fall back into the B box site with no worry. Tessa's has pushed pop. Christo can't go anywhere. Harry, you thought the bad times would be over after the first half of Christo. Well, they have just begun. Yeah, now it all falls onto Cajun B. And he, well, there we go. That's pretty much it, isn't it? We kind of nailed that one. Stown able to secure it. And a, a pistol round found for Heroic as though they needed anything else going their way. Look at this from Nico as well. So clean. Absolutely shuts it down. AZ Gade and MSL. They run round, they try and get the better of him, but not today. Nico leading the charge here for Heroic and continuing to look good. And, and boy, does Tessa set a precedent in round one of this half that he's going to be a real pop dog pusher all game long, right? Coming up the pop and the pistol, getting in the back line and, and dropping the bomb like that. I mean, we're going to see a, a fair few attempts of that from Heroic, I can imagine. Maybe even in this round, because North full glocks towards B, bar up in the pop with an SMG and a double inner setup. Heroic are at least poised for this. They've cleared Ivy. Cadian pushed all the way down as sort of esports. They know this is coming. And Nico's gonna have no problem spraying it down. Four kills delivered on a platter. It's heroic up to eleven. North do have that by though. That's what we've been waiting for. Get it done, out of the way, no bomb plant. No worry. North have at least enough to get a full buy in. Yeah, I'll take a look at it though. It's not going to have the AWP on MSL. But luckily enough, Heroic don't have one of their own. And so it's in a bit of an attempt at a bonus round here from Heroic. They only have one man over here towards B, but that man is Nico, and he's been hitting with the force of, you know, three or four men over here. So I think that's fair enough right now. He's going to be entrusted with the entirety of this B bomb site. And. I think quite critically to note, he's actually playing the connector. So Heroic is set up to kind of play retake over here towards B. Nico's going to recommit back into the site. And that is because they freed up Stown. They were kind of trying to set up Borup and, uh, and Tessa's quite deep over here at the A site. So Stown was there early to offer up utility. Now he comes back. He rejoins Nico at B. They're going to retake their, this site and actually have a bit more presence in it now that they've set up the A side hold. And it's a good thing they set up this A bomb site because that is looking like where this play is going to come through for North. Cadian dropping uh -oh. that smoke, but the problem is smokes actually, don't know if you know this, aren't walls. And they've walked right through it. Cadian is not going to be ready. Ooh, I like this from yeah. North. They realize, all right, we've hit a bit of a sneaky timing here. And so we're out through Ivy. No one's keeping an eye on it. No one's watching it. No one's even considering that this could be a possibility. Finally, Cadian's going to turn back around, but it's too late. MSL is already deep. MSL is already out. Tessas has done a great job of dodging these players in the back line. He's able to put up two, and he's able to keep Heroic in this round, but it's still going to be a very tricky... What? Whoa! What? Oh no, that's not how that was meant to happen. That's not how that was meant to go down. A bomb plant coming in for North. Not quite denied in time by Nico, but he's done a lot in terms of the damage. Cajun is pincered. One behind, one in front. Cajun B, oh, almost. He lands a nice tag try. with the flick. Almost the 180, but not quite. Nico now reaching a 2-0 KD on the back of this retake. He oh. puts up two. And that means out of the 15 kills possible in these last three rounds, nine of them have come from Nico, which is pretty incredible. What a beast. I mean, yeah, that whole round is wild, right? Just the fact that MSL hits the timing, looking at the, the, the pop dog play, Bob smokes himself off, which is a really good call. And then he walks through it. What? MSL's holding. He should be dead. MSL runs out of ammo, switches weapon, dies. Bob gets traded, but he's got the crucial kill in that round that really puts Heroic in the two-on-two -two that they can close. Nico with a double. And boy, oh boy, Heroic just aren't stopping here. Six to 12. Three in a row in this CT side for Heroic. The pistol, the conversion, and the first rifle round north. Go right back in for another. They've got all the guns here. Have they got the result? Because right now they're running out of rounds. They're running out of opportunities to close this uh, this map or even really get into the swing of things because 
Rogue haven't even afforded the double digits. Tessas is looking very good this game as well. He's had some important kills. Gets a big double in there as North hit the A site. Like, if Tessas doesn't kill both of those players, that round's probably North's anyway. So, you know, it all comes down to that as well. Heroic. They've got the orb. North don't have that luxury. No bomb plant money. And so MSL is just armed with his rifle. Cadian taking his on the A bomb site, looking for picks early on. It's down. He was Ivy lurking most of the T side. He's going to be defending it on the CT half as well, smoking it off. Letting Cadian move into position, but not like he's going to have much of a say when the smoke is down. He can just hold for the boost and wait for the fade. Oh, this is cheeky. This is sneaky. Yeah, this is gross. And if you're Chris, though, you know, you've played Ivy a bunch, but what? you were not ready what? for that kind of play. Stown just decides, yeah, I'm kind of overweighting around. I almost wonder if it's because he heard like the, the 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 pin get pulled on the nade, and then just tries to jump peek in on the back of it. But even then, I'm being optimistic. It just felt like he was uh, yeah, pretty keen to take that fight. And uh, now this only leaves North with three players surviving. They're going to tiptoe their way into the B bomb site. However, you can tread as lightly as you want. There's still two players here. Borup. Only good for one. And actually, no, if they do get into the B bomb site, they're a man down this Molly. AZ somehow wasn't Ooh. getting tagged by it. He actually stays alive and, well, only briefly before he's picked up. Cajun now all alone, 1v3. All three of these players coming in from con side, and Cajun does break apart one of these players. He's able to isolate that fight there. Kadian and oh, Tessa's no. yet to find and that Molotov is going to hold him back. Oh dear, he's trying to make the run up to upper, but yeah, he doesn't win this, sadly. They've already got the defuse. 13 on the board for, for Heroic. Cajun not able to see it through in the 1v3. Does at least stay alive, and you know, with the bomb already planted, he's going to get money from that round. He can now help redistribute the cash in this team. It almost felt like Cajun didn't know he had a molly there. Like, you know, no smoke available for Heroic. Not that he knows that. Maybe he's trying to, you know, get a kill ramp and then go back to the molly for the one-on-one. -on -one. But, you know, getting cut off by the util and then not getting to be able to use his, his get-out-of-jail-free card, that's a bit of a shame. Heroic, though, another rifle round uh, to deal with on the other side. And a flash down Ivy to take control. Stown pushes through a Molotov. He won't see a thing. Gaze out and about. Cadian doesn't know. It's a free kill for Gaze. He's just going to smoke off Stown in the Ivy position as well once nothing to do with it. Tessas and Borup in the outer site. Good for one apiece. Tessas is still standing, though. He hasn't been dealt with inside of the pop dog and smoking himself out to be a bit of a problem. Stown is hiding Hell's side as well. Nico's coming on that lone B rotation. It's a long route back to Old Bomb, but now we have a pretty good triple setup for Heroic on this outer site. With Stown still inside, they don't know, and he's dropped the first. They know a man's main as well. Stown's got his number, and now it is just MSL giving away his position. Stown going above with a grenade. It will hit. MSL will two he'll fight back and the bomb getting played three hp for msl no need to move wait for the tap stown's playing patient on top of the train but he doesn't know where msl's got to yeah msl has disappeared and now swinging out he's down looking the wrong way msl with a stellar clutch to keep north in this one their first T-side round put up on the board here to give them a seventh, and it comes on the back of MSL answering the call, stepping up there in that clutch when they needed him the most. If that one didn't go in favor of North, I think this first map is over yeah. and done with, but now, now cool. there's a chance they can get back into it. You can see the effect this has had. It's bought Heroic's money down into the ground. Kadian does have a Zeus in this round, so that's gonna be exciting. Let's see what he's able to do with that. He's sat with it over here at the ramp. Cajun actually got dinked as well, trying to go down the pop dog. This is a little bit scary. I love the Zeus though. I love, I love it. You know, close towards ramp. You see, like Rops play this with a deagle, right? Because you can just two shot body spam with that gun. But Zeus, I mean, great at just getting a kill and, and grabbing a weapon unless you get traded, which is likely the result. Ivy push here for the pistols and North will make quick work of it. You can see not even an issue for Christo and MSL combining for two apiece. Cadian's walked up a B, but he will find nothing but a deserted area. They're even holding him from here as well. If he goes any further, he's dead. Oh, I say that. Gage just left. So. Timing is everything, and Cadian's hit 
perfection. He's coming in on this Tcon flank. He might even be able to get a Zeus kill after all. That's basically what we're playing for now. The yeah. Zeus kill. There's not really a oh, chance that no. Kadian can save this round, no, and no, Gade no. is watching it. Oh dear, Kadian. <laughs> oh, is he gonna go run for it? And now? Yeah. Figure out a way to Zeus quickly. Yeah, He's yeah. the dude. Oh, Gade is coming after him. Kadian, you gotta be a little bit faster. Oh, Kade has decided against it, and Kadian gets here just in time. <laughs> Kadian, what are you doing, you little gremlin? You little gremlin. What's the game plan with this Zeus then, my friend? Uh, this isn't Whoa. it. That's not the one. And he does get taken care of. North, eight on the board. AZ even retrieves the Zeus and as a sign of disrespect, just shatters a window with it. AZ let him down as well, right? He didn't shoot his legs when he had the chance. He waited till Kadian thinks it's safe and committed. That's a good way of, uh, of getting that kill if you're playing at the back of Pop and someone's playing on the ladder. North, 8 to 13. They've been given a lifeline, an opportunity in this map. Two rounds on the T side in a row, and they're only rounds to work with. Right now, Heroic can put a stop to it. They can find this, well, near map point. They can reset North. Stown is set up with the AWP over Cadian in this round towards Ivy. Cadian has a shotgun right next to it, but if Stown dies, Cadian can pick it up, and that's basically the game plan. Resmoke on Ivy keeps Christo contained. Tessa's in the pop dog. The North haven't put too much focus on this as of late. They're just playing very passive. They know that Heroic are keen to get aggressive and, and try these flanks. So North playing safe is going to come to an end eventually. But you can see now Heroic is starting to move. Now they're starting to gain control of this round. Tessa has pushed Tcom with the help of his teammates, smoked off, and North. They don't know this. They've left A. They've gone towards B. They've got Christo on an Ivy Luck. This is very similar to how Heroic played their T side with these B players and a solo Ivy player. Double upper setup for Heroic, though, could certainly catch North off guard. Ooh, ooh, ooh. come on, Kadian. You weren't able to do anything with the Zeus, but this gun is like a full auto Zeus. So let's see what he's able to churn on up. MSLV Kadian, let's go. Who wins this one? And ooh, oh, Kadian. No. Bring it. Two kills on the auto shotty. Christo out from Ivy does drop one and AZ dealt with up at B, but Cajun will trade and it's back into this two on two. They deal with Christo and this leaves Cajun B in a 1v2. He was going to plant open, decides against it now. And I think that's because he loses Christo on this wrap round. So Cajun now just having to play for himself, having to play for the 1v2. They're both wrapping up close, but there's not the best facing in the world on this. There's down with the repeak and Cajun swinging a little wide there. Actually gets dropped by the orb. There was a world in which Cajun was able to isolate that first fight and then duck away. Yeah. But luckily enough, this Stown, the peak was pretty wide, and so the defuse comes in. It's like a two for one, right? In, in the same vein, Stown doesn't want to be close enough that he gets mowed down. Right down. Yeah, right? yeah. And him being far enough away makes Cadian forget or, or not consider the fact that there's a trade potential, right? Not think about a second player there because, oh, I've not been traded, it's clear. No, it's not. You've been traded. It's not clear. That's it. Heroic, they get it done. 14 to 8. And now two away from taking us to Vertigo. That's, for me, at least the map I'm excited for in this series, mostly. Uh, train, we know that's a dominant one. We know it's a good one for Heroic. It's a map North don't play. But Vertigo, that's a big one. That's one that Heroic, you know, were able to take G2 a distance on. One that North have looked very, very good on. And I think where this series really does get competitive. If Heroic can take it over North, then damn. But... Let's uh, wait and see, Harry. Let's not assume. All right now, this game's still live, and MSL is trying to make it happen. He's dropped Cadian with the AWP early on. Stown's got an AWP. North are going to group B again with the bomb. This is just, like, so default, what both teams are falling back into. We haven't seen, like, one fast yard rush with, with E-Box and, and Sandwich Smokes and just a quick A push. And since, you know, Heroic have had, like, anti-Ecos in the early 10 rounds, so... Yeah, it's been a lot of late B plays with Ivy Lurks, and that's really what we've got here from North again. With a man advantage, why change things? Tessas can flank pop. That's the only uh, danger this round. And in fact, it's getting better and better for North by the second because Nico's left B and come towards Ivy. It might just be a save for Heroic as they realize the error of their ways. North are about to plant. Yeah, and double AWP in the retake as well, right? Never ideal. Maybe if they deal with Christo, like if you get a four on four and you don't lose a man, you deal with the lurk, maybe you go for it. But yeah, they're not budging. They're not attempting it. And now Christo's position becomes even more valuable if he's able to do a bit of damage. And that's great because Heroic aren't even attempting this round. 
You know, if you're uh, if you're unfortunate enough to be down there, you never even got a chance to play this round out. You know, you were already surrendering essentially when that bomb plant came in and then you get killed. You don't get a chance to play, you don't get a chance to save and you don't carry that weapon into the next round. So nine now on the board for North. These B plays working out. It wouldn't surprise me if we see uh, North maybe stick one of these secondary orbs in the connector playing rotate between either one of these sites and then having like uh, an anchor over towards B, maybe like put Nico inside of the site, right? Have some support available to him if needed. Because it can feel a little bit bitter if you're playing double orb at A, kind of like what North were doing in the first half with yeah. MSL and Cage and B. You know, either the orbs never get a chance to see anyone if the A hit doesn't come in. And if the bomb does go down B, you're going to find it very, Ooh. very hard to retake. So in this round, North try and pick up the pace. They try and go fast out A, and Gade actually gets double naded out of the round. A nice way for Heroic to find the man advantage. It was no risk to them. And now they sit in this five on four. To jump on your point about rotation, I, I would love to see Cadian be playing this rotate role in the connector. I've seen him do that in past teams. And, and it's very, it's nice to not only have your AWPA, but your in-game leader play that like fast con rotate because then they can, they can, you know, get a, a full spectrum, a full picture of what's going on on both sides and still have impact with this weapon. So yeah, Cadian has been very focused on Ivy this game, but if you were to go towards connector, that would free up a lot of room on this A site. Either way, there's value to both sides. So. He's orping Ivy, and he should have a kill here. North are moving in late. Unless they flash his position, Chris Doe is dead, and Kadian doesn't know the bomb is following, but that may not be a problem because it's still a five on three. He can smoke it off. He can cut MSL out of the short term, and Heroic can just group up. And actually stacked in it here. And the bomb is Ivy. This is based off of nothing for Heroic but a gamble, and to do with the fact that North have shown no you know, players on that A site. They've also killed an Ivy Lurk in the form of Chris Doe. He's always been there on these B plays for North. So for Heroic, it's screaming a B play, but in reality, it's anything but. Yeah, this is a little bit scary now as a result. The one thing that might help out is Borup is still in pop. So he might be able to save Kadian when AZ tries to come in on this wrap. And now the rotations have come through. Kadian has heard these flashes. He knows that something's going down at Ivy. He doesn't have an idea on specifics and well, Stown, actually a master Ooh. of dealing with this play, gets into the site, drops both the IV players, and AZ never even gets a chance to wrap from main. Oh, goodness, AZ. Oh, he goes down off the time, and that, that there, this should be a very hard one for North to recover now. AZ at least had a bit of extra cash lying around. It's not the end of the world that he goes down off the time. But with 15 on the board for Heroic, this one starting to feel like it could be a done deal, yeah. North. Can they can they salvage this? They need six in a row. It's not going to be easy thus far. They've not really managed to accomplish much here over on this T side. And now they need to accomplish more than ever. And a man down. This isn't... I'm not building up the no. best uh, the best comeback story here for North. I think a you're building up... Five. You're building up the reality, Harry, right? This is this is a map that I think if, if, if North are going to lose a map in the series, it would be this. They have a very good chance to win Vertigo. Of course, Heroic are going to be prepared on it, right? Like, as Blair said, they let it slip in the veto. But, you know, if North aren't feeling confident on Vertigo, then I have nothing else to say. You know, that's their map pick. That's where they should be finding success. Heroic right now are only three kills away from pushing us over the edge on their pick. And, well, that doesn't seem like it's going to be all too difficult. Tess says on Ivy. Crucial position here. That's where the bomb is coming from. And two players of North. He's gone above green. This is a good spot to play considering he's low. Can take a headshot angle. Gade. Oh, he's crept out. He's got a timing. He's got a gap. And no one's got any idea. Gade dropping the Ivy play. That opens up the play now for the bomb. But Kadian's shut it down. Trade is quick from AZ. Gade is still in the yard, but doesn't realize they're in main. He's considering it. But that is all it is a consideration. And Borob has not given him the information that would mean Gade just hang around here forever. He's still just sitting sandwich side. The bomb's parted for him. No reason to move now. And AZ can start hunting for those other rotations, both through con. AZ's hit the first. Borup are gone and get, gonna get gayed as well. It's just AZ in the site. One on two for the map. Heroic in a two on one retake. Great flash. And Stan gonna peek off the back of it. He's got the round. He's got the map. Heroic have got 16. And that is it. Locked in. Vertigo around the corner on the horizon. North's picking the series. And one that they've certainly made uh, a mainstay of their map pool. So I don't know where.